Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, April the 25th. And today I want to use the Nano VNA to measure the uh, SWR of my marine uh, VHF antenna. I have it set up here on the bench and we'll try it outside afterwards. And what I've got here is I've got the Nano VNA and I'm sweeping it from 150 uh, to uh, 170 megahertz. And right now you can see that down here around 168 uh, megahertz of ESWR is very good. Uh, those are my terminations. I've got an open, a short, and a 50. And I've connected the coax, the RG58, directly to the uh, Nano VNA. I've also got the software going to communicate with the Nano VNA. So what I'll do is I'm going to go on to Camtasia and I'll show you on the software how you calibrate the unit and we'll transfer the the sweep to the screen and then we'll mount the unit outside and see how it works. Outside it's on a steel beam. It's not really a mast over the water, but we'll get an indication of what the differences are. Okay, so I'm using the uh, Nano VNA software and um, when you get the software you have to use a Zadig, uh, which is a program to uh, install the correct uh, virtual COM port driver. So I've done that and it's on COM5. So let's connect. Okay, so now we're connected. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate first. So I'm gonna set this thing up for SWR and S11, port one. And we're gonna go from, let's say 150 megs, 150 to 180. Okay, and now the first thing we're going to do is in calibrate, we're gonna do the open. So I'm gonna press open. Okay, and there's a blue bar that goes across the top of the instrument. When that's finished, then you can go to the next one. So the next one is short. So I'll put the short termination on there on port one. Okay, so the short's on there, I'll hit short. Blue bar goes across the top, so we're ready there. And then finally, we'll put on the 50 ohm termination. Okay, so that's the 50 ohm termination, and we'll hit load. Okay, so we're done then. All right, so now we're done. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the antenna on. So I'll carefully put that connector on. It's quite big, even with the adapter, so I have to be careful. Okay, so let's get the data now. We've got everything set up. So there's my data. So we can see there's uh, Y max. Let's uh, decrease this. Let's go to... So that's my data and we can see down here, this is the best match around 1.2. So uh, most, most transmitters can handle a VSWR of let's say 1.5 or less. So uh, this is not bad. This is, uh, this is not bad, it's best down here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this outside and if it's, uh, see if it makes a difference. So let's, I'm gonna go and do that. Okay, so here's the result. Uh, I've moved the antenna outside. It's sitting on a steel beam. Not the ideal location. It really should be on top of a mast. Um, but you can see here it's actually pretty good. Uh, let's say from 150, 150 it's around 1.8 and then it ro drops rapidly. It's almost perfect at 161 megahertz. And uh, it's got a bit of a dip here. Anyways, you can see that the response is very good here over most of the uh, marine band. Like I say, 1.5, less than 1.5 to one, uh, will work quite well with most transmitters.